Welcome to the Dixon family. We are the poppin' family. We doing vlogs, we doing pranks, we doing skits, we doing challenges. We came from nothing, now we doing something. Now we up and now we on to something. Wait a minute, yeah, we dropping fire videos. You know we dropping heat, we dropping fire pranks. We doing the behind the scenes, we playing basketball, we shooting on the hoops. You know we crossing like Kareem. Gotta like cause we are the winning team. Run it back, run it back. Welcome to the Dixon family, we are the poppin' family We doing vlogs, we doing pranks, we doing skits, we doing challenges We came from nothing, now we on to something, now we up Now we on to something, wait a minute, yeah We dropping fire videos, you know we dropping heat We dropping fire pranks, we doing the behind the scenes Playing basketball, we shooting on the hoops You know we crossing like Kareem, got a like cause We are the winner team Abigail are going to go back to our old types of videos where we did one-on-one -on -one talks where you guys asked us where you guys have asked us so many questions on Instagram and YouTube. We're gonna answer all those questions unfiltered and giving the straight up truth. Um guys, we have also got a new table. If you like it, let us know down below in the comments because uh it's really really nice and it fits the aesthetic of this room right here. Um, anyways, so basically the, the point of this video is we're going to be answering all the juicy questions that you guys asked us both on YouTube and Instagram. And if you guys want to be part of this video and answer, ask questions, <laughs> if you guys want to want us to answer your questions, make sure you contact us on Instagram at Dixie Family Official and comment down below on our YouTube videos because we see everything and we will answer them in videos like these. So let's get started. Alright guys, as you guys already know, or if you're new, you may not know, my name is Sean Davis, my little sister, Abigail. Hey guys! Uh, yes, so now we're gonna start the challenge, like I said before, it's not a challenge, but yeah, we're gonna start the video! Yes, yeah. like I said before, you guys have asked us so many YouTube questions on Instagram and YouTube, now we're gonna answer them, give you our truthful, honest, say it with me, Abigail. Honest! Honest! Okay, yeah. Yeah. it's not gonna be honest. Uh, okay, alright, alright. The first question, wow. um, what is your biggest fear? Uh, I guess I'll go first. Yeah. Um, okay. Speak uh, the truth. Speak the truth. Yes. My biggest fear, I have said this to countless people. Don't people. say the dark. It is the dark. Exactly. You already know. I do not like the dark. My imagination goes really wild. It is dark. It's not the dark. Then what is it? You think you know me more than I know myself? Obviously not, but like, you're not scared of the dark. Okay, put me out in the dark. I okay, what? Well, um, I will cry. Okay, what about Halloween? You were so eager to go outside. It was dark, it was raining, it was that's because, foggy. That's because in our neighborhood, I trust the people. Okay, that makes sense, but... I didn't, I don't expect someone to, you know, pull up on the So you're not necessarily house. scared of the dark, then. I am scared of the dark. You're scared of But the you were I over there. You thought they would go after us instead of you? No, I, never, I don't think that. <laughs> um, yeah, I am afraid of the dark. I okay. tell that to many people. And if you don't believe me, then... Okay. okay, your turn. Um, my biggest fear would be bugs. Like, every bug in general. Even, like, sometimes I wake up, there's an ant on my face, I, I'm like, move on like this. Um, I'm gonna have to, uh, agree with that. Abigail hates crickets a lot. Oh my um, gosh, there's been an increase in crickets in the area. And bro, <laughs> um, crickets are, they're kind of scary, but they're kind of fun to play with at the same time. Guys, whenever I see a cricket, I literally call Shaday because she's Shaday. She has that aim. She's like aim. Bro, my aim is fire. I'm getting the macaroni and cheese packs and throw them at them. Um, uh, but they're fun to play with. You know, if they jump around, you just keep throwing the, the macaroni and cheese. Nah, if I see a cricket, I'm literally running the other way. <laughs> um. Okay. So that is our biggest fear, guys. Um, like one of you guys wanted to know. I do not like the dark. I mean, does not like bugs. And comment down below what you guys. Worst fears are. We want to know. Yes. Comment down below. All right. Next question is: What was your experience in Nigeria, and would you go back again? Um, uh, I'll say mine. Uh, I my experience in Nigeria was it was definitely hot. Um, I saw I think it was a lizard in the corner of um, a, lot of a room, there. and I was crying because I ever go to sleep, and all three of us were in a separate room as our, from our parents, so it was the three of us in a bed. And you can see in the corner of the room, like uh, a lizard, and I was. Oh I was no, surprised. that's where you saw it. But let me get, let me tell the actual story. I feel like we've told them the story before. But like, okay, so we're in Africa. It's the middle of the night. We had a long day, seeing everywhere, seeing all the places, going out from after eating. We come in. We everyone goes to bed. It's me and I are awake. Should they sleeping? 
Me and Aya, we we turn on a flashlight, we face it up, and we see a lizard. And we we don't know what to do. We're just we're, we're screaming on the inside. We're anxious, and we, then we oh, yeah, and I hear that you guys woke me up and then went to sleep. Did, did you guys do that or okay? We were yeah, something we, I heard. Yeah, yeah. We, we were laughing, and, but then we looked at you, and we woke you up, and then we went back to sleep <laughs> because <laughs> we wanted you to see this and deal with it. Um. Yeah, that was. I went to sleep for uh, like after like two hours. And then you woke us back up. You woke us back up. I, I was ready to like dash out of that room. It was so scary. Okay, so after Shelly woke us up, we were all planning how to get out of the room without getting eaten by the. I don't know, not even eaten, just like seen by that thing. And then there's a second one in the room. And then like there's one on the window too. They were like everywhere. I, Regardless of the lizards, um, in Nigeria, that's not the only experience we had. That was yeah, just one thing. It was thing. a fun thing, but, um, um, yeah. I also remember this store that we used to go to. I think it was called Old Time or something like that, or Old Country, I don't, I don't know. Yeah. It was like a white store with the red, big words that said Old Something. And it was basically like a supermarket. Mm-hmm. It was like a Nigerian supermarket. I remember. Was, <laughs> in that supermarket, I had dad hit someone. We, in the middle of the night, he hit someone by accident. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, I think wasn't it in front of Domino's? No, no, it was behind that store. We were at, we were at that grocery oh. store. Yeah, we were at uh, the car. He was like backing up, and then he hit the man. <laughs> um, yeah, that was funny. Poor man, though. <laughs> um, um, and the third thing that I remember is in Nigeria. That when we walked down the streets, there was like in the corner of every like I think I think side either sidewalk or road, there was like um. Like a, a hole? Yeah, there was like a hole. Talk about how the sidewalks turned turn. like. Yeah, yeah, like a gutter, like that was going as the street was moving on. That was also going, and I was like scared of ever stepping in it. It was like I just. Uh, it was, just, it was like, so deep. Um, you can't walk around on your phone like we do in America. You know, so right, right. So your foot's gonna get in there. Mm-hmm. Um, and then another thing I remember is when Auntie Bookie bought us those huge ice creams. Yeah. And yeah. Overall? Also, that, that place we stayed at. The place we stayed at was so nice. Yeah. I don't know if it was a, a hotel Sweet. or. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. It was so pretty. It was, it was a big like street. bright and it was bright. Um, There was a lot of space. It was so nice. Guys, if we did YouTube back then, that place, we would have got. We would have had like daily vlogs. It was Right? Great. It would have been so nice. I We're going back. Here. So, be looking forward to that. Oh, you know what's funny? Right now, in my English class, we're reading a book called The Race of the Sun. Um. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 so in the book there's a, a, a person who's from Nigeria. His name is Joseph Asagai. Um, and in the book, um, he likes the book. this other black woman named Benita, and he was speaking Yoruba to her. And you know how it's a play and kids read? Yeah. So they were trying to first they, they can't pronounce, they can't pronounce his name. And then in the book they have a bird, a line in Yoruba, which I'm probably gonna get um our mom to to like tell me what it means. But there was a lot in Yoruba, and this kid had so much trouble pronouncing it. And I was like, this is so cool. They couldn't even say the word Yoruba in my, in my class. They were like, Yoruba. I was like, Yoruba? Oh, Yoruba. <laughs> you said it was, that's, it's Yoruba. I said all the way in the back. Oh. Well, um, but it was, it was cool, though. Can you that again? It's not Yoruba? Say it again. Yoruba? Can I say Yoruba. Yoruba. It's Yoruba? Yoruba. Yoruba. That's what they said in no, the class. No, Yoruba. Yoruba. I said Yoruba. 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 You're saying they were saying it right? It's Yoruba? not Yoruba. It's Yoruba. 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 They're saying it right. That's not how you say it. <laughs> Yoruba. Yoruba. But then the kids started saying Yoruba. And I was like, that's the way you say it. Oh, but Yoruba. Oh, what about that that kid that said that's obsessed with African culture? Oh yeah, this kid in my grade. Um. He really likes he's he's full white. Um, but he talks a lot and um he's in my French class and he loves like African culture, like everything about Africa. I remember last year, so you know that race we had to race to pick a country to do extra credit assignment on? Mm-hmm. So his name was next to the the um, African country. I know Africa is a continent. I don't know what country specifically it was, but he put one he picked one of the African countries. Mm-hmm. And to this day he knows so much about Africa, it's crazy. He also knows about Ghana, Mali, stuff like that. You should invite him over. <laughs> Am I the minor African woman? I feel like he would. I feel like he would. Like he's so obsessed with the African culture, it's crazy. Mm-hmm. So will you guys go back to Nigeria? 
Yeah, well, yeah. Sure. It's not for too long though. <laughs> you know, it's, it's hot. I'm, the bugs, the, not the bugs. The, I want to see that the lizard. Um, <laughs> what about the chicken and the mom that you guys saw? What chicken? Oh man, that was so cool. We saw a lot of chicken walking. And, oh yeah. And then, I think we also saw a goat, or like somewhere. Maybe when we were in the car. We were in the car. Yeah, yeah, it was so nice. And then I grew up. I think he had a, a personal driver. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, did he? I thought he was Grandpa? in a white car. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was. It was so nice. Nice Jeep. Um, yeah. yeah, I would definitely go back. Ten out of ten. Trip. Okay, our next question that we were asked was, "Who is your favorite auntie and why?" Favorite auntie. Um. Hmm. We actually um. We have a bunch, but hmm. I'm gonna say Auntie Bookie. Yeah, Auntie Bookie. Because, um... I think she might be the nicest we have, even though we haven't seen her in a minute. In a minute? Minute means long. Uh, we haven't seen Auntie Bookie in so long, but when she is here, she's like, um... You know Louisa from Encanto? Yeah. She kind of reminds you of Louisa, you know? Big, strong, and fierce, and she can, like, dominate her authority wherever she is. Um... She brings out the, the strong presence in her. Mm -hmm. and How do you remember that? I feel like you were so little. So I remember what? Her, her I just, aura. no, I just, yeah, I feel like her aura is like really strong. Just from seeing her face and her build. Um, her build. That's kind of what it reminds me of. Like, just like Abigail. Actually, no, I'm sorry. Abigail's like the petite mini version. But Auntie Bookie is the real, <laughs> the real deal, you know? The, the fierce, strong, dominant, um, Strong aura presence. <laughs> uh, um, What's the next question? What are your pet peeves? Name three. Pet peeves. Three pet peeves. Those are like um, things you absolutely can't stand, right? Okay. One think. of them would be chocolate and peanut butter together. I cannot eat chocolate. Yeah, out of here. Chocolate that has peanut butter. Nuts in chocolate is so bad. I, I don't know if this is a hot take, guys, because everybody loves nuts in chocolate. I just, I just can't. Um, for me... Oh, wait, there's three, so think of two more. Um... um... Oh, Dig yes! Oh, my gosh! Oh, my gosh! Oh. <laughs> Can you not? <laughs> Digging in your One thing so that I really hate in my math class, there's two t twin brothers, um, and every single day, they ask for a pencil. So one day, I offered them a whole pack of pencils. I just gave them a whole pack of pencils. And he was like, uh, no, 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 I, I just need one, I just need one. Attracting the attention of every single person, every, every, every other person in the class. The teacher was like, is everything okay there? And we were like, yeah, 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 it's fine. And I was like, take the pencils. You asked it for me every day, just, just take the pencils. Mm -hmm. You and your brother can, can split them. And they, they, he said no, so I took the pencil, put it in my bag. And the next day, he asked me for another pencil. Until this day, him and his brother... So, you know, him and his brother switch sheets, too. <laughs> like, <laughs> and now his brother... He told his brother to ask me for pencils because they know that I supplied them with pencils. I literally gave his brother the whole pack of pencils. And they won't take it. Give the um, other brother the pack of yeah, pencils. Yeah, I, I did. I gave the other brother the pencils. And he didn't take it. And now they still ask me for one pencil a day. Now nah, you should be like, yeah, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> take this or some out. But <laughs> if you don't take the whole packet, I'll get any more pencils from you. Um, so that's really annoying. Um, hopefully that ends. Okay. Maybe, um, they, maybe just, they just like asking you for help. Well, they kind of did the same thing last year, but it was only one of them last. The other one was on the other side of the room, so they couldn't ask me for nothing. <laughs> um, what class is this again? This is a math class. And it was my office last year, too. We in the same math class. Um, let me think of something else. I, I know pet peeves that people have on TikTok that a lot of people agree with, like pouring milk first in a cereal bowl. That's not even my pet peeve. Like, yeah, that's not a pet peeve for me. Who cares about what you're uh, how you eat? <laughs> as long as you don't finish it. Like, the whole thing. Oh my gosh. Finishing food without saving. Oh, that is so annoying. It's, that's a horrible pet peeve. That is good. Um, uh, let me feel like <laughs> Oh, you know something I absolutely hate? When I get my phone back from Rachel and Rami, and it's greasy. 
like covered in grease and coals. <laughs> it is like a note because Rachel, you, she sometimes she like just this morning she was eating chips with my phone, like Liz, mm-hmm. and she gave back my phone and it was completely greasy. Well, they got, they cannot have a meal without using electronics. That's not good. You know, I, all I want to <laughs> say is good luck to the future generations because I ain't gonna be there. <laughs> you are gonna be there. You got a hundred years on this planet, man. Mine is how long? How much? Like, like fifteen. So, anyways, um, yeah, that's that's pretty annoying. And let's see a third one. Mm-hmm. I already said all my three. Oh, you did it. Um, what was the first thing? You said Reese's peanut butter, Reese's boogers. peanut butter, boogers, and when people finish oh, yeah. all the food. Um, third, I would say not feeding animals. That's a pet peeve. Yes. I don't like it when people don't feed animals that they see outside. You know, I love what? feeding animals so much. Nah, people who feed an- outside animals when they're not supposed to, that's a pet peeve. When they're not supposed to? I'm talking about birds, not raccoons. If you feed birds, they're gonna keep coming back for more. Right? Like, it's illegal that, to take wild birds in your house, but if you feed them outside, you know, you're just helping nature. Do you think they're gonna follow you around and save you in Texas? Like Snow <laughs> White? You know it. <laughs> yes! Guys, I don't like it when... When, um, so you think people should just give their food to random birds in the street? I didn't say all their food. I'm saying if they have like bread or like crackers. Who's carrying on bread without the? What about the people in the, in the, in the streets? I'm not giving That's bread that I just I mean, bought to, like, to birds on the outside. But whatever you do, you. I would buy bread just. To, I would buy bread just to feed them. Like if I don't. You weird. I really don't know. Um. Uh, what motivates you? Um, oh, me first? Me first? What okay. motivates me? Uh, is this like education? Anything. You can take this any way you want. Then I will take this as what motivates me to use the bathroom. I'm kidding! <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Um, wait, what wait, motivates wait, wait, me? Not I'm curious, I'm curious. What motivates you to use the bathroom? When I eat a lot, but that's not what I'm doing. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> what motivates me to do good in school? Um, unlike Abigail, and Abigail, uh, I own unlike Abigail, <laughs> Abigail, so good in school. Story. Unlike I own Abigail, what motivates me to do good in school and get amazing grades is the daily reminder of constant competition. Constant um, competition. Yes, in my classes, I have a lot of competition as I am taking <laughs> only AP AP classes and honor classes. I have a lot of competition in there. So participating is something that I need to do. Um, getting a grade is something that I need to do to make sure I don't fall behind. You know, I don't want to end up in an honors class next year while all the people who are in my class this year end up in an AP class next year. Well, you could have taken AP seminar this AP year. AP seminar is a whole different story. Like, I'm okay with my You could have had all the classes you wanted this year if you just took AP seminar. That's not true. It's never doubt because game design for you. Like, the concert was like, if you want to take college game design, then you're going to have to take Regents English. And I was like, I'm not downgrading to a Regents level English class. Um, anyways, um, AP Seminar is a whole different story. Like, I hear my friends complaining about getting articles due, like 20, 20 something page articles in groups that the teacher chooses for you, not even, you can't even choose it yourself. Um, then they give presentations. I think that's most college classes. Like, I'm taking one right now. And well, that's because you're a senior. You a senior should be taking college classes. If I think that's your high school every. Gives it. Not, not me. Oh. But. Oh, yeah. okay, I'm going to use Motivates you? Um. What motivates me? I guess, like, in, like, life, I think the future. Like, always thinking about the future, I guess, like, you want you want to have a better future, so, like, you're doing things to get you. If you're truly thinking about the future, then why wouldn't you be working out right now? You guys hear this? No, I'm, just, yeah. I'm, not, I'm just saying! Like, I'm just, like in my health class, they show it when, when our teachers are here. Um, Why are you not working out right now? I do work out. I just finished taking some food. <laughs> anyways, she I don't work out outside of my. Um, anyways, that's, yeah, you're right. That's a question I should be asking myself as well, but I'm not, I didn't ever say I think about the future. I mean, I should be thinking if, about the future. If, if, but. If there was a gym, you, you don't think I would go to it? There is a gym. Okay, if I had time. You do have time. Okay, if I was allowed. That's unfortunate. Unfortunate. <laughs> anyway, right now? Okay. I'm just like, yeah, look at your teeth. If you're really thinking about the future, <laughs> you wouldn't be doing something to change how you live right now. Like instead of laying down on your phone, you could be running outside. 
You want me? You you, you, you said you were thinking about, about the future. You said you were thinking about the future. I'm just saying because That's not, I'm just saying to like get past every day without like. Then why get, wouldn't why wouldn't you have good grades? Because you don't study enough? Because you don't do your homework? That, that's you're not thinking about the future. Did this study turn this question into get on me? I'm just saying, you're not thinking about the future. I literally am. How am I going through this day? You, the other days you were just saying about it. How do you how do you walk past the day with and not and smile and not think of your future? Uh that you don't. You just don't. You always think about it. Well, are not you, always. Are you okay? You do you need Coach Pal? What do you mean? Coach Pal? Who is that? <laughs> I mean, I mean listen. Most people do thinking about actually. I don't know. Well, all the people who go to clubs, who, who smoke, I don't know if they think about the future. But, exactly. Do I do um, any? Do I do any of that stuff? No. Do I, do, do I drink that? But you don't do your homework. That does that mean I'm not thinking of my future? No, because if you were if you were oh doing, if you were my not gosh, doing, if she's you were, so. I mean, yeah, if you were doing your homework, you would be thinking about getting into a good college because you'd be so, getting good grades. So you're just trying to tell them I'm not doing my homework. Is that, is that what you're trying to get at? No, I'm just saying you're not, you're not thinking about your future like as much as you probably think you are. I am thinking about my future. I don't know what's going on. Hey, how are you thinking about your future? Anyway, guys, next question. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's move on. Let's move on. Um, where do you? S- oh wait. Bruh. Who's your favorite sibling? A Oh. That is- oh, I go first. Okay. My. Uh. This is so my, hard. Uh, five, 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 uh, sibling, a, um, my sir, a man. That's a lot. <laughs> uh, anyways, my, my, um, my petite sir, Parsika. Can you speak English? My little sister, ma, oh, just let me stop. <laughs> let me stop. Rachel, because uh, I think it ha- even though Rachel annoys the heck out of like everyone in the entire family, Rachel um, is very fun to be around. I'm not saying the others aren't fun because they are also fun. I just fa- have the most fun with Rachel because um, even though she just, she, I, I don't know. She, uh, Rachel! Rachel! Um, Why were you family? I was saying that you were my favorite sibling. <laughs> I was! Um, anyways, um, personally, for me, all my siblings are fun to be around. I like, I'm the old jokes. I, uh, <laughs> I don't know about I, uh, but Remy, uh, Remy, I have fun with Remy sometimes, but Rachel, I spend the most time with her, um, and she doesn't really annoy me that Ray much. Remy doesn't even spend time with Rachel. She just sleeps next to Rachel. That was done, like, like, years ago. <laughs> That are fine. That was nah, something. guys, I don't know. I don't think Shalai's thinking about. I'm still thinking about that question. The future? <laughs> you didn't answer my question, though. Alright, anyway. <laughs> so, Rachel, uh, uh, I'll be going. My favorite sibling, um. Then she goes to Murphy. My favorite sibling is Aya. <laughs> <laughs> he has one flaw that I don't like. But he's my, he's my, he's my, he's my favorite sibling. Why? Why? It um, says why. I feel like out of all the siblings, if I would choose to hang out with one of them, it would um it would be Io. Oh, That's why because it makes the most free. Um okay. Because I feel like Io has my same sense of humor and like should I? Right, right. She still hasn't gotten out of the out of the um out of her face. <laughs> it's arrow. No. <laughs> Anyways, between your mom and dad, if you have to choose, who would you choose and why? Alright, I go first. Um, Wait, I have to choose between your parents? What do you mean? That's what the question says. Oh. Okay. Um, I would probably choose my mom because my dad doesn't necessarily cook, and if I were to stay with him, he would not make me food that would. He would make you me. peanut butter and jelly. Yes, and that doesn't provide me the essential nutrients I need in my body. Anyways, also, um, I think, um, yeah, I need the essential nutrients. Um, my mom, my mom also, my mom is also, um, I also would have more, I think I had more fun with her, because my dad, I feel like if we were there, we would joke a lot, but I feel like, you know what burnout is? I feel like that would happen. Like, it, it, after, after all the joking and the fun, it, it starts to get boring, and I'd be stuck eating peanut butter and jelly. And with the mom, I don't think that'll happen, you know? There's, there's yeah, you gotta eat African food. You gotta eat no, 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 no. Gosh, she, she has yet to try Goosey. I have a lot more, um... Like, Goosey isn't even spicy, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I think it's your 
Um. Oh, sorry. I was gonna say I have a lot more options. The food. So you're using them both for food. No. Okay. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> all right. Um. In terms of like qualities, I think I choose my mom. I think she's more hardworking, in my opinion. I feel like um, her values are kind of better. <laughs> values? Yeah. As in like what she likes, or like the way she looks at life. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely. But yeah. Okay. I agree with her values more. Okay. Um. Who is the most humble between the two of us? Humble? Humble. Let me search that up real quick. To, to give the dictionary definition of humble. Okay. Give, give, the, give the definition. Yes. The dictionary definition of humble. Who is more humble? Comment down below who do you think is more humble? I think... Mm, right now you guys should know what's more enough. Um, humble is... Having a showing... Um... A sermon. A Have modest or low... Estimate of one's own importance. So basically, um, someone uh, lower in dignity or importance. So I guess someone who's more selfless. Yes. Um, that's a good, definitely. good dictionary. I'd say it's. I'd say myself. <laughs> okay, why do you say it to you? Why do you say it to you? You said it first. You said it first. Um, because I feel like the way she holds herself, she holds herself like she's the best person in the world. Like she has no flaws at all. And, um, I feel like, like you guys just don't know me well enough. <laughs> how, how do I know you know? Wait, <coughs> I mean, is it because you're hiding your true self? Uh, there is a lot of things know, that I do hide about myself. Um, but, um, I feel like it's... I feel like she likes to present herself as the best thing ever, like a gem. And that's why I'm saying it's me. I think that it's me because, um... You think, I'm, feel, not, you think I'm not humble? No. <laughs> uh... It's like, um, I mean, y'all, she like, are you saying this because she, I don't know how to make this a lot less, a, a nicer than it sounds, but I feel yeah. she makes herself, um, she tries to, to show up more. I do not. That's I just have, I just don't because, have low self-esteem. You know, um, I think Abigail is more, more proud. You know, it could be, it could be courage. Proud. It could be courage. But I, I do think I think it's more courage because um, crowd that's crazy. Anyone you talk to about me, they, guys, exactly. guys, let me talk. My in my opinion, who I think is more humble between you two. I'm your mom and I know what you guys are. Abigail is more humble than Shade. That's my belief. So continue. Okay. But you didn't say, you didn't finish. I did finish. You did? Yeah. You think it's you? Wait, why do you think it's you? I just finished! <laughs> Alright. Wait, wait. Um, wait, why do you think it's you? <laughs> oh no, I think I skipped. Oh. 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 O
I like I don't like Fruit Loops anymore. Apple Jacks I haven't ate in so long. But you're gonna eat this, aren't you? I don't know. But I do like Honey Bunches of Oats. Um, if you don't but like yeah. Oats. I will never Bones. eat that. That's backwards. <laughs> okay. That's Shadis meal for the whole week. No, not this cereals. Not these cereals. I don't like. But like, are you gonna eat these cereals? I can't eat Frosted Flakes. Um, Fruit Loops. I don't Why like can't you eat Frosted Flakes? Uh, because it's not mine. Um, Fruit Loops. <laughs> I don't like it anymore. <laughs> The chocolate Kellogg's, I've never had that, and I don't think I ever will. You know what? I might try. Uh, that actually has like, chocolate. I feel like it's not going to be sweet. But the Apple Jacks, I eat it like once in a week. But are you going to eat these? Right. You Over are. what span of time? Like, we don't really have any of the non healthy cereals, so your claim is not true. It's not true. I like pretty much the oats. How often do you eat that more than you eat food? If we have pretty much, I don't eat food anymore. Why well, don't you eat food? Because. I saw some. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> okay, if we have not to eat Fruit Loops. If I, <laughs> I want to leave it open. If we do have Honey Bunch of Oats, then I would eat it. Uh, who's your least favorite African YouTuber? Least favorite African YouTuber? I don't know any African YouTubers. <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, <laughs> hmm. Um, there is a YouTuber who I don't necessarily like. Um, because, um, she kind of rubbed off the wrong way. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, you know the person? What did you tell them? I don't know. You know the person. Nah, it's like, you, you can say the name. No, you, you got it. You got it. I mean, you got it. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> There's this, this one YouTuber that we, we didn't even have a conflict with, but it's like she had her, her self competition with us. Or like with our mom, at least. Yeah, yeah, with our mom, obviously. You want to see a, a grown, like, 30 year old woman. 30 yeah. year old woman. I think she's the only. African YouTuber that we don't like. What's her name? Yeah, what's I her forgot. name? I forgot. What's her name? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what's her? Oh yeah. So her name, her name's the Apples family. Um, it's not her family that we just like. It's her. No. Um. Yeah. No hate to her. No hate to her siblings, but her we don't. Siblings. Her siblings. Her family. Her family. Like her family. <laughs> Like children. Nothing, like we're not trying to like bash your children or anything. Obviously, they're the beautiful children of the, of the Lord. Hope no, never mind. Did you say of the Lord? Wait, no. Muslims also fall in the same body. Yeah, yeah, they do. <laughs> um, believe. Um, yes. We don't like her because she has said some very harsh Asusa things to from us. The Apple's family. <laughs> Just said very harsh things to us. Um, in voice messages, and they were in different languages. But when it was she said some crazy us, stuff. Um, it was quite, quite, quite sad and hurtful. That's why we don't like you! Anyways. <laughs> okay. Who is your best African YouTuber? Best mm -hmm. African YouTuber. Oh, what's his name? What's his name? What's his name? What's his name? The, the comedian guy. What's his name? Oh. The, the Sam Speedy. Ojo. I was going to say him. <laughs> Which one? What's his name? He's... Mark Angel? Mark Angel. Ojo. Oh, no, 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 What? He's Miss like Trudy? Miss Trudy. <laughs> <laughs> Do I watch her or him? Do not bring up that name. Um, Do I watch him or him? You watched him like once. He's like, he was, bo he, I think he boxed once. Oh, 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 oh. KSI? Yeah, KSI. KSI. Oh, I love yeah, KSI. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I watched his, Isn't his he videos. Like, he's Nigerian? Yeah. yeah. I, think, I don't know. Yeah, he's Nigerian. Nigerian. He's definitely African. Oh. Um, oh, yeah, I was but reading. He lives in London. Uh, I, yeah, so he, his videos are really funny. Uh, I saw, I see so many TikTok and it's I don't watch him though. I watch him once. You watch him, yeah, you watch him once. He's funny. Um, yeah, I think he's my favorite. I, like, he's the only YouTuber out of all the ones you mentioned that I actually searched up myself. What about Sam Speedy? Ojo? Like, I never watched, I never searched up his videos my own. Oh my god, you need to my, watch it. My he's favorite, one of the best. Um, my favorite African YouTuber would be, um, Court Treasy. Mm -hmm. Mix. Court Treasy, she's on. That's she, not African. She is. Oh yeah, I think I think I watched like, one of her, her videos. Yeah, What's her name? Her, um, Court Treasy. Her, that's Court. That's not her YouTube name. That's not that's her, name. No, that's her YouTube name. Mm, okay. But yeah, she makes um she makes jokes and then when like she's talking, her her accent comes out and it makes it even funnier. <laughs> she's like, what is this? <laughs> Ew. What is this? <laughs> I'm just like, I have to get half a moment. And she's like, she zooms, oh. she zooms in on her face. She's like. <laughs> I was trying to not laugh so that I make him feel weird, but never mind. Okay, uh, <laughs> and next question is 
that you guys asked us is, where do you see yourself in the next five years? The next five years, all right, let's see what you have then. Next five years, I see myself in my, I see myself in my third year of college. I plan on going to college for like five or six years. So, yeah, I see myself in my third year of Why would you just do five? Don't you six? Unless you, the more yeah, the probably, I feel like it'd be six. As long as I don't like take a break or I'm not the but yeah, I'd see myself in my third year of college. Yeah, I'd see myself in my second halfway to the end. Because I um for I'm planning on taking like I'm planning on going to two different colleges in the beginning Isn't for two money? years. No, but um in the so I'd be in my new college in five years. Why do you want to go to college? It's a whole plan. I'm not gonna explain it now. I'll tell you later. It's First, you go to a community not? college. It's only two years, and then she transfers to another four-year college. Do they count that? Mm -hmm. Yes, the transfer points from a lot of them work. Really, I feel like I mean personally, as um a very personally, as a very um I'm not a middle school. <laughs> Imagine. Personally, as a um very what's the word? Smart. Non-social person. Huh? <laughs> but non-social. <laughs> What is that going to help what is the word for that? What is the word for that? Anti-social? Yeah, yes. Introvert. Yeah, yes, that. Introvert. <laughs> I was honest. As a uh, pretty non-social introvert, I don't think I'd be okay with... Well, I mean, obviously you'd be okay with, But I'm saying I wouldn't be okay with having to make friends in the community college and then have to leave them and then make new friends in a new college. Personally, I'd rather go to one college for six years and have those friends for six years and still have them after But in some, some classes in college, you're not going to see the same person ever again after you take a whole... Yeah, but well, guess what? My college is going to be six years. That's a six-year relationship. A lot of friends. Well, you don't go to college after friends. Well, if you talk to people, uh, people, Yeah, people. of course, but I don't want to be antisocial in college. You know, college if you're antisocial, is now, you're a pretty tough place. Here. I have a lot of friends, like you know that. Well, she's like. Four. And plus, it's it's better to have a you know, <laughs> <laughs> better to have a small friend group than a bunch of fake friends. I agree. I, I hope you do. Anyways, yeah. Wow. So. Shadi, why do you keep trading jobs? I don't know. It's because I'm still had I'm getting time with a lot of people, so you know I'm just, I'm just wondering which one are real, you know? Bro, I I hope all my friends are real. I hope so too. You know, we don't know that. We don't know that. We don't know Bro, that. Bro, guys, should I just like some of my we friends? We don't. Whoa. Is that true, you don't, you don't like some of my like friends? Like some? Um, thinking of some ones that I don't like. You, she just likes some of them. You're you're friends with most of black people, right? And there are some I have, people that I just like. I have white people, black people, Asian people. Oh yes, I do. Just I'm talking about black people. Okay. And yes, there is a, a black friend of yours that I do not like. It's a it's a male. Don't worry. Your female friends are. It's a male. <laughs> hey, follow the camera. It's because of the way he brings himself out in oh, my lunch class. This is um, cousin, a brother. No, 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 not him, not him. He's, he's nice. I haven't even seen this yet. Talking about. Oh, yeah. like, that's oh, my friend. friend. Okay. Jamal. Yeah, that he says. A line every day and it's very loud on my lunch class. So you think you think I'm his friend because black? I, no, because did Have you, you, say, you guys talk last year in, in school? No. Oh. <laughs> said just sat next to me in summer school. Oh. Oh. I wasn't gonna say that. Okay. Um. <laughs> who is the most lazier between you two? This is difficult. I don't know <laughs> because we both take naps a lot. It um, depends on like what hap like what's the situation. I mean, I think it's more chores, but, you know, you also see her a lot of time laying around, just like me. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not but, like, should like I just me. no chores and you see her um, laying around? I sleep the living so room. So, I might say, should I? Do you not see me sleep the living room every day? I sleep the living room. I do so much. Oh, my gosh. I'm so amazing. You probably look really bad on the camera right now. Anyways. You look tired. Um, anyways, <laughs> I sleep the living room every day. Um, I try my best, you know. I try my so best to put I my pillow in the right position to sleep. I don't all sleep on pillows. Day. I don't sleep on pillows. Yes. Anyways, um, I yeah, I'll say it. Should I, guys? I want to have a good school life. I come back home Fridays late and sometimes other days. Um, That's your decision. Because I go to clubs after school. Um and. That's because I want to be more involved in school. See, Abby goes to senior, and she hasn't been to one club. 
That is insane. Well, my years were COVID years, so you need to chill out. I feel like you probably, the, after like one year, you could have still, like last year, last year, the freshman that, year, even if no. you were new, you should have still tried your best. Bruh. Bro. Exactly. My you're years only, were COVID years. You're co- no, only one year of yours was COVID. That no, was- no. COVID started freshman year. No, I know. COVID was two years. But the second year, like last year was... Not last year. Two years ago. No, last year was when everything started to die down. Like, no, 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 no. But two years ago. we had COVID multiple no, 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 times. No, no, no. We had COVID like okay, seven you times. Talk? Like, you know, two years ago, they, were, they gave us the option of either online or in person. And we all went in person. No, we went. Yes, we did. Because I remember in my... I was hybrid. I remember that. I was hybrid. Yeah, well, for the... the yeah, we were, all, we were all hybrid. But for the rest of the year, after the hybrid, for like the first semester, first, sem- first semester, they made everyone go back in person. And we were all in person. And all the clubs... We were, were all not trying to get COVID. You know how many times we get COVID? Yeah, but we were in person. We got like seven times. No, two times. Not again. <laughs> seven times. Seven times uncounted. I don't think Ooh, uncounted. seven times we're not immune. Um, anyways, so you should have utilized your high school years more. Yeah, thanks to COVID. Shari, let's be positive more. Okay, okay. We're attacking it a lot. <laughs> exactly. All right, let's go. Um, next question. Let's just act like she doesn't, she doesn't get to do All like. Right. She has she had so many more opportunities than I did. And that's Literally. why I'm trying to my best to utilize them. Isn't aren't you also in your beginning? Like, like your beginning. second year? Yeah, second year. Crazy. Last year I couldn't really do much. Anyways, which app do you use to edit your videos? That's the question. Um. Hey, hey! Don't give my juice. I no, give them I two say, out of. I must say I use a bunch. Yes. Um, you can use Camora, CapCut, and the yeah. Zip No more. We're gonna give you guys the sauce here. All right. Um. Wow. Looks like you guys did some some digging. Anyway, Shade. Do you play? Oh, it feels weird saying my own name, Shade. Shade. Guys, I'm just saying we're we're British. Hey, don't say British like that. Oh, I said I'm, not, no, I'm just it's saying British. I'm just saying British. British. Well, I said British. I'm gonna say Britain, but I realize it's proper. <laughs> Alright, um, uh, Shade. <laughs> Let me read the question. Shade. Shade, do you plan to marry a Korean man in the future? Since you're so obsessed with everything Korean. Have you guys found Shade's secret Korean account? Right? Like, how digging did you guys, how much digging did you guys do? Like, I know I follow the Nixon Family Fish on Instagram, but that doesn't mean you guys have to check my account out. <laughs> and it's private! Anyways, they probably saw your story. Oh yes, my story. All she posts is. This. I thought you I post artwork. Korean artwork. I was supposed to say that's what I was it's saying. Not only Korean. I always see mom was. And I see not. I see is men with no shirts. That is not true. <coughs> I you can see all of my past stories. <laughs> you will not see one person who doesn't have a shirt on. Right, I'll show you that. You can see all the past stories. <laughs> Oh, you, you want to see it now? Okay, yeah, show the question. I see yeah. the question. Oh, oh, the question. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me, let me not get off track. Um, you know, <laughs> at one point in my life, I did. Until I was told that I was not allowed to because of a specific aspect that they have. Um, and so, okay. That's what you I can't do. do what? You have to explain to our viewers. Now we can't marry a Korean. You're born and married a Korean? At one point in my life, I thought of it. <coughs> But now I can't because I'm not allowed to because they have one specific aspect that is not. What's like that it. aspect? I cannot say that because that's racist. Okay, next <laughs> Okay. What's mine? Uh, I don't know if it's directed to you, but let me see. Oh, yeah, it is. Abigail! Oh, wait, how should I. What type of access I use? Nigerian. Abigail! Abigail! <laughs> Do you plan to marry an American. American keep saying it as I found. You don't speak like that. Like, right, right, let's do see, you let's plan to marry an, an, uh, an American? Alright, let's do French. <laughs> Abigail. Do not speak French. You plan to marry an American or future? In quiet. In pourquoi? Can I read the question? <laughs> you plan to marry an American man in the future? An American? Um, American! <laughs> <laughs> My experience, they're kind of, they're kind of local. Local, you guys don't know so, what's the meaning of local? Oh, it's, it's, it's um Spanish for crazy. Let's not stereotype all of them. 
majority. Yeah, you can leave but, majority. Um, I guess it depends. It, like, I'm gonna have to like know you. Wait, I'm do you mean to, like a person like? Uh, it is, I'm not, um, wait, let me finish. I'm not even like your race. I'm not gonna take it into account into deciding whether or not. I'm gonna take your I'm gonna take your soul into account whether or not I marry your soul. You're gonna take the person's soul. So, so, so no, like to understand the person's soul. What did they pretend in the beginning? Like they love you and all that stuff. Like personality. Oh no, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna marry or do anything with the person until I know them. What did they pretend the first few years to be something and you marry and they're different? Oh, I'm not gonna marry someone after. So then I'm not gonna marry someone after five years. <laughs> that's what? It's after complicated. Five years. It's very complicated. Anyway, a lot of people don't marry that's until why, like ten years. That's why I used to sit with people from college. And then you know them for like two years and you don't you have still want to live with them. And then you we come to their house and they're all messed everywhere. What do you mean their their house? If you know them in college, you know everything about them. If you guys are not friends, necessarily that you can what you you're saying as friends you don't visit you don't visit your friends' house houses. You don't know everything about your friends. You don't know how they react to different situations. You don't know what your friends likes and dislikes. You don't know how they react. Yeah, well, that depends on how much you do with your friends. Like, if you go to so parties you're with, you them, do that with the, with the if person you, you're interested in? No. At that point, they'd be a friend. Friends have boundaries. Let's go. Yeah, she doesn't understand the question. <laughs> <laughs> uh, name five things you love about your grandpa on mother's side. Um, I love how was um. How much wisdom he has. I love how he is intelligent. Yes. Um, I love how he speaks from the heart. Yes, I love his accent. <laughs> yes, I love his, his oldness. Um, and his old no, because he's, he's old, he has wisdom. Um, he knows. I like his like he's speaking talks. from experience, you know? Mm -hmm. And not just like the first thing that comes to his mind. He speaks from what he but he genuinely knows and what he's learned over the years that he's lived. I like how he talks about the future. Like, Grandpa, he was talking to us um, one day in the kitchen and we were like, um, Grandpa said he's, he likes how we're all going to school and he said she should, he wants to go um, back oh, to yeah, school. Oh yeah, he said he wants to go to, to school for, for um, what was it, law? Yeah, he said um, get a law degree. But he said yeah. someone would hire him, but it would be fun to do. <laughs> At his age. Yes. Yeah, he's so um, smart and wise. We love you, Grandpa. Alright. How do you feel not having both your grandmas alive anymore? Let me answer this Um, personally, I don't feel much. Because I, you know, I was like, how, how old? I don't even know. Like, I was like, like a few months old. I don't remember literally anything about, I don't remember any experiences. Oh, I, I literally hear Aya talking about peanut butter with, um... Uh, oh, Shelly. With my mom, you were just... Three months old when she died, so you won't remember anything. Yeah. With Grandma Eddie, you were like seven years old. Continue. Seven years? Seven. Yeah. So you don't remember don't when remember. you were seven? Nope. I I don't remember anything. Damn. That's sad. Yeah. Abigail, Me? Um. Wait. So that means Abigail was like two, five months old, or is that not how it works? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Abigail was, oh, 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 was like two, two and a half, three years old when my mom died. And she was like nine, nine. when Grandma Eddie died. So she should remember a little bit. To be I honest, think. I don't remember mommy's mom. Oh, and you were a favorite. I don't really remember her that much. Like the pictures, I don't remember the pictures at all. Mm. But like, um, I remember like um, daddy's mom. Because mm -hmm. like, how, I was probably like nine. Um, yeah, I remember it. I remember going to the funeral. I remember um, the speeches that were given. I'm trying to remember. Um, I remember like what we used to eat. Me and I, we used to um, we used to play tricks on her. I remember something. I remember something. A <laughs> lot. <laughs> I, I remember, remember something. The, Daddy was there. He, he wasn't crying. There was. His sisters were there. He never cries. Yeah, and they had the. No, I no, I remember on um in the, in the hospital grass. No, in the, on the hospital bed, I was when sitting she, on Daddy's lap and he was died, crying. And yeah, we were looking at we were yeah. looking at a dead body. Mm -hmm. And he yeah. was crying. And I was sitting on his lap. He cried. Yeah. I've never seen my husband cry. He doesn't cry. Mm. It's very. Mm. Mm. That's sad. Okay. Mm. But yeah. 
They may came up with souls, this question? May their souls rest in peace. Because I, I miss them no both. What country would you love to go for vacation and why? I guess I'll go first. Because I'm sure we all already know this. Let's Korea. Like take a South Korea. South Korea. Why don't you go to North Korea? Because we're not allowed there. <laughs> Anyways. Guys, Shade is very obsessed with anything Korean. And she ain't my no Korean man from the mom side. Abigail. Wait, I didn't, I didn't explain. Why do you wanna go to South, South Korea? South Korea so that I can visit the famous city of Seoul, uh, South Korea's Seoul. capital. Um, I also want to try some dishes that I really want, like tteokbokki. Mm -hmm. Um, remember that picture? I oh, showed that you? rice looks, tick thing. Yeah, it's made out of. You're gonna try that, but not try any of mom's food. That's crazy. Oh, she that's, she, that's she likes okra. No, uh, you do it okra and pan. Okra and pan. Yeah, what do you mean? A meat pie. Or I love meat pie. With nothing in it. <laughs> what do you mean nothing in it? There's Maggie in it. That's what I need. <laughs> There's nothing in it, Jay. That's just seasoning. <laughs> Yo, I'm trying to be healthy. You, you know what my husband is healthy? You have to have some kind of meat in it. You can't just eat only okra and panayam. Okra, okra is a second second gravy. You need like a real gravy on the side. Um, anyway, so yeah, I'd like to visit the famous city of Seoul um, and try tteokbokki. And I also want to try this ice cream that they have. Um, it's very popular in Korea. It's like, um, I forgot what it was called. Oh yeah, it's like a... Um, Fongso? Oh yeah, fun party. Panpare, that's what they call it. They call it panpare, but it's what do you call it? Panpare. Panpare. No, no, no. But in in like American romanization, it's it's um, spelled uh, fanfare or panpare. Fanfare. I think it's called fanfare. And it's like a swirly ice cream cone that I really want to try. Um, and yeah. Um, for me, I think right now I want to go to somewhere like tropical. I want to go like um. I guess going to like a place like Hawaii or like Jamaica, um, Florida, Boa Boa, what's it called? Bo Boa, Boa, Boa. Bora, 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 Bora. Yeah, I want to go there. I just like how it looks in the pictures. Yeah, a lot of YouTubers go there. That and they see. go to this place. I want to go really bad. Cancun, I think Greece. Yeah. Santoni, Greece. I want to go there soon. I think Greece would be fun to go to too. Just yeah. the scenery and like the architecture is very different. It's beautiful. Oh, Yep. We're definitely gonna go there. It's in my bucket list. Yeah. Um. I think the closest like to like a tropical place would probably be Florida first. Florida. You can go there anytime. Yeah. Yep. That's it. That Those are all, all the questions. questions. Yes. All right, guys. Um. Comment down below where you guys where you want to see us go for this last question. Yeah. Oh like, yes. Like um, where you guys want to see the entire not just us but like the entire family travel to for our next vacation. Um, because uh, we haven't traveled in a while now. And We're actually planning to go see my older brother in London. Oh, really? Later. We're planning it. We don't need a visa. Oh, we can visit um, yeah, our mom's birthplace. Like, it's like five right? hours from now. Yes. Can we visit your hospital? Probably that's visit an outside Probably London. Visit that's, an, that's like <laughs> 40 something years ago. I, obviously, they're probably not going to remind you so they birthed so many children. But, um, we can look at the records. Yeah. Of the ch children born or in the 1970s. Or we can see where your mom stayed. Yeah, she stayed in a lot of places in London. She no, stayed. like, cause like you said that her mom was there, your mom was there for a business trip. No, she lived there for almost 30 years. She does oh. business there. Oh. <laughs> and I have a lot of I have a lot of uncles, aunties, second and third cousins that lives in London. So. Have we seen them? Or? You've spoken to them on the phone, but you haven't seen them yet. Yeah, that'd be a nice, so be a to, nice long trip. It's like to go there is and that see longer my brother. Than Nigeria? No, no, four hours. We're in London. If the plane is fast, four hours. If the plane is very slow, six hours. All we have to do is just buy a visa. Definitely faster than going to. Wait, was it like thirteen yeah, yeah. hours? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the plane, I was like, oh my gosh. That's funny. <laughs> but if you're American, oh. you guys now you're American citizen and you're Nigerian citizen. You are, you have dual citizenship. Wait, but didn't we have to live in? There for like five years or Where? In Nigeria. Most, no, 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 like no, no. Some countries you live, have to stay there No, five your mom, years. your mom is from Nigeria. Your grandma and grandpa are from Nigeria. You're not from Nigeria. No, my parents are from Nigeria. I was born in England, mm -hmm. but my your dad is American, uh -huh. and his mom is from Haiti. So you have a American passports and Nigerian passports, mm -hmm. and then if you go to London, you don't need a visa. Oh no, I mean like, how does that make us a Nigerian citizen? No, it was, I'm Nigerian. 
I, oh, okay. I was only born in another place I, was, I have a Nigerian passport I have a British passport I have an American passport So, it, but that's like saying If I have a South Korean passport That makes me South Korean If you're married to a South Korean And it files for you You're going to be or half South Nigerian Korean. Half American and half Korean So you're going to be a Korean citizen Through your marriage Oh, so you're saying I don't have to live there You don't to have to live there a citizen? No Cause you have, Remember you have a Nigerian passport yeah. Do you live there? No. So yeah, but you get you got it through no. your mom and grandparents. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. By bat, if one of your parents are from a country, you you can get it. You are American, and you live in America, but you're also Nigerian, even though you don't live there. But you got it through your mom and grandparents. Okay. And you can also have a British passport because I have a British passport too. Oh, so I have three. Smile inside. So I have three passports. I'm British. <laughs> I have a Nigerian passport and I have an American passport. Are you listening? And I have a British passport. So those three countries, I can go there anytime I want. I can live in any of the three. But by marriage, I live in America. So I can live in Nigeria, I can live in London, I can live in America. But we choose to live here. So. We love strawberry pop tarts in this house, right, Abigail? No. All right, guys, we have picked up Dickinson. Woo! We know how much you guys love this game, so we're gonna be playing this right here. We're gonna both assume I'm 100 Okay, um, think and sing. Woo! We love the. Oh, Since, should I be eating a pop? Actually, give me some of the side. No, no. Oh, no. Oh. No, even the side is touching the strawberry. Oh. What are you. Are you seriously gonna eat the part with no strawberry? Hmm. Okay. All right, let's go. Abigail, hold up the cards. Trees. A common tree where you live. Three, two, one. Oh, amber. Oh, no. Amber. Oh, no. An animal that lives in trees. Three, two, one. Squirrels. Squirrels don't live. Oh, they do. They live in the air. A tree known for dropping things. Three, two, one. Open that tree. Oh my gosh. <laughs> a hardwood tree. Three, two, one. Oh! Birch. Where is our Minecraft knowledge? <laughs> You're not using Minecraft knowledge. knowledge. I said birch. Amber! Oh, sorry. Amber is not. Let's go, geography. Woo! Geography. Stop, Abigail! <laughs> a small country. Three, a small country. You need to know this. A small country. Three. Wait, I didn't even think. Um, Three, two, one. North America. North America. Wait, they're not small though. North America? They're pretty small. Okay. A continent. Three, two, one. Africa. Africa. <laughs> <Is it> Asia. <laughs> All right. Blank pole. Three, two, one. North. A big country. Three, two, one. United States. United States. America. It's not a country. Isn't it? Is it? America? A country? Yes. Whatever. Yes. Who cares? We don't know Mexican names. Um, living in the living room. room. In the living room. Living in the living room. I read living first. Sit. Something to sit on. Three, two, one. Couch. Ooh. Something to do. Three, two, one. Sleep. Sleep. It's okay. Um, something to hold. In the living room. Three, two, one. Remote. remote. Something to dust. Three, two, one. TV. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's because of you. You, you should have said sleep. Fruit. A fruit with many seeds. Three, two, one. Watermelon. Watermelon. A sour fruit. Three, two, one. Lemon. What are you doing? Oh! 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 oh. <laughs> That's Shalais. Look at it. Yes! <laughs> Shalais, hey, why do you have this? <laughs> <laughs> a fruit from a bush. <laughs> from a bush? Oh, three, two, one. Berries! A dried fruit. So like the grocery store. Um, a dried fruit. Three, two, one. Dried tomatoes. 
You should have said raisins. Grapes are not dry. Yes, they are. Raisins are dried grapes. Raisins are grapes that were dried in the sun. Grapes are also dry. They, they can be wet. <laughs> in the kitchen, a refrigerated brand. Put that away. <laughs> um, I don't know, Sony. No, that's a game. Um, famous men, Jimmy. Two. One. Carol. Carter. Who's Jimmy Carter? Who's Jimmy Carroll? Campbell. Jimmy Campbell. Nope. Bill. Three, two, one. Gates. Steve. Three, two, one. Rice. See, Rod is famous. Even he's made up. Frank. Three, two, one. Oh, Sinatra. Thanks, Sinatra. Bruh, no. Why did you not say any singers? <laughs> also, American. The show. opposite of slow. Three, two, one, fast. fast. I thought you were gonna say quick. The opposite of straight. Stop, stop, stop. Three, two, one, get her off. <laughs> the op no, that's a, that's a um, substitute. The opposite oh. of rare. What? What is rare again? I forgot. That's behind. Like oh. the rear mirror, I think. Okay, Think. three, two, one, in right front. Oh. The opposite of right. Three, two, one, left. left. You almost got three. We keep getting three out of four. That was like two out of four. That was like three. Fill in the blanks. No. Three, two, one, white. white. Old fashioned. Car. 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 <laughs> um, fill in the blank. Um, mother and. Three, two, one, father. father. Fire and. Three, two, one, water. water. Three out of four. I wish the Lord said this would get three out of four. <laughs> Fill in the blank. American. Three, two, one. Dream. Dad. American dream. You American can do America with the American, American dream. Dad. Um. On. Three, two, one. God. God. You see that name, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Just. Three, two, one. Dance. Dance. Star. Oh, what is that? Star. Star, um, three, two, one, fire. Field. Star fire. Oh. Bro, you was just black fire. I can't believe you just did it. Did you just do your sister like that? Cooking. Cooking? Mm -hmm. A famous female chef. I don't know oh, any. I don't know any female chef. A cartoon rabbit. I don't know. Bugs, bun. Oh, he's a bun. That's the same thing. No. Let's go. There. A cartoon pig. Three, two, one. Charlotte. Charlotte from Charlotte. No. Club. A cartoon cat. Three, two, one. Garfield. Garfield. A cartoon family. Three, two, one. The Americans. American dad said. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> and a tiny Who's brown. <laughs> food. An Italian food. Three, two, one, spaghetti. spaghetti. A Japanese food. Ooh. Three, two, one, sushi. Ramen. Ramen, literally, ramen is eaten by Japanese, Chinese, Korean. Yeah, like, but it's the first thing they can say. Sushi. A Mexican food. Three, two, one, tacos. tacos. A Chinese food. I don't know. I don't know. Because these are Americanized Chinese foods, right? Three, two, one, chicken wings. <laughs> oh, chicken fried rice? Is that Chinese? Chicken fried rice? Yeah, that's right. At the beach. Something you find at the beach. Three, two, one, babies. shells. <laughs> you mean babies? I was gonna say sharks. <laughs> Something you toss at the beach. Three, two, one, garbage. Let me stop. Oh! Guys, <laughs> <laughs> you know what should I just have to be? <laughs> A beach accessory. Three, two, one, nice. towel. You must fight the sharks! <laughs> I don't think you're okay. <laughs> this is showing your two colors. <laughs> Something you see in the water. <laughs> it's screaming! Hold the hands! You see hands screaming for help! Shells. <laughs> shells! I just wanted to say shells! Uh, a fairy tale princess. Three, two, one. Rapunzel! Two, uh, what, Black Power? Get out of here. A fairy tale oh. prince. What? Wait. He's not fairy tale, but he was a prince, right? Three, two, one. Hi. Oh, Prince Hans. A fairy tale with little people. 
Three, two, one. So summer, wait. summer dark. Why, why did you say that? You just had to say that. A fairy tale ogre. No. Three, two, Ooh. one. Yes. Shrek. Vegetables. A salad vegetable. Three, two, one. Lettuce. Lettuce. I'm gonna say tomato. A mushy baby food vegetable. Three, two, one. Carrot. Carrots. A kind of bean. Three, two, one. Green. green. Same thing. <laughs> A kind of lettuce. This is different kind. Oh. <laughs> oh what? Three, two, one. A asparagus. Slice. <laughs> Famous Georges, the U.S. president. Um, three, two, one. George, George Washington. Washington. An actor. Um, three, two, one. George, George and the Bush. Giant beanstalk. <laughs> <He's so dumb. laughs> A singer. Um, three, two, one. George, George Floyd. How? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have to say that. You didn't have to say that. What's wrong with you? You know that song? Oh my god! <laughs> Put it away. I can't. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Guys, if you're everything, I'm gonna say. Okay, okay a movie. A movie about college. College? I don't even want to. Can it be with students? <laughs> I don't even want to. Coach I Carter. Say, can it be with students, huh? Coach Carter. Coach Carter? I don't know. A pirate movie. Pirate of the Caribbean. Pirate of the Caribbean. A movie with a wizard. Three, two, one. Harry Potter. Wizard of Oz. That's a movie. A movie set in high school. Three, two, one. Wait! Spider Man. Oh, Spider Man. <laughs> yes. Yeah. No. Romeo and Juliet. The one I watched. A uh, fast food. A fast food dessert. Three, two, one. Pies. Pies. Pies were probably good. But still, they still get Something you put on a hamburger. Three, two, one. Ketchup. Jeez. Oh, no. You don't. Most people who. A vegetable you put on a submar submarine, submarine sandwich. What's a submarine? Is that like a big It's like a subway sandwich. Subway sandwich is long. I think submarine um, is, is like. I, 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 I like to put on. Um, lettuce. Lettuce, yeah. A fast food beverage. Three, two, one. So Crush. Oh, should I have been more specific? Nah, it's just a soda. Good job. Try. Things you have to die. For breakfast. Three, two, one. Shut up. Bread. Um, bread. Uh, backwards. Uh, oh. These are backwards. For lunch. Wait, things you come for that. For lunch. Uh, mm -hmm. a sandwich? For lunch? Uh, three, two, one. Sandwich. Sandwich. What's wrong with For dessert. <laughs> three, two. Three, three, two, one. Cake. cake. Say it. I did. I was thinking. <sighs> Why are these backwards? So it's given to me. I think this is the uh, ER? Yeah, you put um a Samsung phone on it. Where's my phone? Bodies of... Bodies of water? Come on, Abby, go. One Put the body <laughs> of water. One Abby single goes. men's names. Three, two, one. Tom. John. John. It's T, not J. I didn't, you didn't tell me the letter. I said you said one single men's out. And then I said starting with T. Starting with B. Three, two, one. Ben. Bob. Ben. Ben. Starting with P. Ben's look nicer. Um, P. Three, two, one. Pen. Pen. Pit. Starting with G. Pit. Three, three, two, one. Gas. Yes. What's up, gas? <laughs> cats. That was pitiful. I don't know any types of cats, but I know. What cats? What what cat loves? What, 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 <laughs> what cats loves to do? What cats love to do? Three, two, one. Purr. 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 No. They like to rip. Never hair. had a cat. Yeah, but I've seen videos. A color of cat hair. Three, two, one. Black. Black. Something a cat plays with. Three, two, one. Yarn. Toys. But it plays with toys. A wild cat. A, a large, large one. Wild. Oh. Three, two, one. Cheetah. cheetah. Tiger. Cheetah. Cheetah. Guys, if you enjoyed that little um 
segment of Think and Sync. Uh, let us know down below in the comments. Um, right, we're quite messy here. Let's, let's clean up. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace out! Bye. Like cause we are the winner team.